This is Shaf here from IC Studios bringing you another tutorial. Um, this one is going to be about uh, the best way to capture and render with um, an ATI uh, Wonder Pro, ATI 200, 650, um, and ATI USB. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is open up Virtual Dub, go to File, Capture AVI, pull it up. Uh, make sure preview is enabled. Your preview acceleration is going to be both fields. Video source, you want S video or composite if you're using just the one yellow cord. Um, I suggest S video though, as most of you will probably know it's going to be better. If you want capture pin, make sure this is NTSCM 29.97. Since I have the um, USB, I can only capture in uh, UIVY, so, but it doesn't really matter. It's going to be good anyways. Um, I know the Wonder Pro can capture in like YUY or something like that. Um, and then go to Capture Filter. Make sure this is set at NTSC M. Go to Video Proc Amp. Mine's already set up, but I'll show you how mine's set up. Um, sharpness you want all the way up. Saturation somewhere between like 160, 180. I just use, I just go until I feel like stopping. Uh, my hue, you want to leave that. Um, at 128 unless it looks weird like mine did I'll show you what mine looks like real quick on default this is really really bad um, so to fix that you make it sharper you make it brighter um, give it a little bit of contrast so it gets colors a little bit more colorful the hue I have to change it otherwise everything's gonna be green um, but yours should be at 128, so leave it as default. If not, if it's, you know, if everything looks a certain color, change the hue till you get it right. Um, and like I said, this, just throw it somewhere between 160 and 180. At least for me, it's going to be different for everybody, so you're going to have to change all these anyways. Um, you know, you can see, it, I, I'm in a game right now, so I'll show you real quick. Uh, like my stickies, it's not really like that blue color. Um, it's kind of like a lighter blue. Um show you again real quick. The BR burst, it's almost like it's orange. Uh, not exactly that yellow. Same with the frags. You know, almost like an orange, not really that yellow. And, you know, you can see the red, the frag. So obviously mine's a little messed up, but I think once they come out with the real Vista drivers for the Wonder USB, I think it'll fix it. Plus, I unplug mine all the time. Um, but if you guys can keep it plugged in, uh, I suggest you doing that. Um, and then just go ahead and hit F2, and it'll bring up, you know, this like normal. Um, name it, hit save, and then hit F6 to start capturing. And whenever you stop, hit escape, and then just go to file, exit capture mode, and go ahead and go file, open video file, and let's say here's the MIDI gameplay. Uh, there's nothing in it, it's just, I just named it to show easier. I get, um, where's it at? I get a quad shot here somewhere. Just yeah. All right. So let's just say I want to render this quad shot part. So you click right here, start your clip. Uh, you can hold the right arrow down and just scroll until you get along to where you want your clip to end. So about right there. Hit end. Oopsies. And then uh, some people use smart. Some people use. Uh, the MSU deinterlacing way. Uh, for this one, I'll just go ahead and use Smart. Uh, if you want to see how to deinterlace uh, the MSU way, I made another video touch so it's a little easier to follow. Go ahead and go and check that out uh, in the same thread you got this one from. Go ahead and go to Add. You might have to go to Load, but hopefully this works. Yeah. Uh, in my Virtual Dub folder, I put the Smart deinterlace uh, plugin in my plugin folder. So now, whenever I do it from here, I don't have to hit Load. I can just bring it right in here and hit OK. Hit OK again. Hit OK again. All done. Everything's de interlaced. Um, you won't see it in this screen, but you'll see it in this one. Uh, one other thing that you can do is compression. I forgot to mention that in the capturing part. Whenever you do that, go to compression, and then you'll select the Huffy. Um, for me, whenever I render a clip, like I am right now, I'll do uncompressed because it gets me better quality and lower file size in the end. Uh, you're going to have to mess around with it until you figure out which one you want to do yourself. Check, you know, quality, file sizes, all that junk. Um, 
and then you just go to file save as avi and you uh like let's say i'll do this one as like midi clip i've already got one made for you so go ahead and exit uh, virtual dub after it saves pull up sony vegas refresh this here um, go ahead and bring in your clip I'll zoom in a little to show you you can double click it drag it in whatever you want to do okay zoom in a little bit on the scroll wheel now what I like to do is I'll add just sharpen and it'll be the it's not gonna it's the presets called cutaway section but I just leave it at zero uh, you might have to add brightness maybe some contrast um, really depends which one it is so make sure you mess around with those yourself till you get them right then you're gonna wanna go to file render as Let me pull this up here real quick go ahead and go to WMV Windows Media Video uh, version 9 um, go to the 3 megabytes per second video um, preset click custom now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna change the video rendering quality to preview your audio you can leave the same your video you change to bitrate VBR peak format uh, Windows Media Video 9 still you can either use DVD quality oh, the other one? Uh, keep original size so depending on what you render at me personally I make it custom to make sure I render at 720 by 480 never messes it up um, your pixel aspect ratio will be 1 so make it square so make your frame rate 30 seconds per key frame 3 and then your average bit rate, you're going to change this to 2, and you're going to change your peak bit rate to 7. And then the rest of this will fall in it by itself. You can do these if you want to index it, so whenever somebody plays it, they see it back with your name and blah, 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 blah. Um, if you want to save this as a template you want to use all the time, just go ahead and come up here. Go to, like, Montage, Quality, some, oops, Quality, um, Go ahead and click here and use this. Set. You don't have to do this, but you can. For clips and montages. I can't type today. And then just click this little save button. I've already got one made. It's pretty much the same exact thing. I, I even named it the same with the rendering clips and montages. Uh, you'll see my videos all the same. Audio project is uh, the video rendering quality is the same as well just hit OK make sure uh, stretch video to fill output frame is selected this little box over here otherwise you're gonna get these little black bars on the side of your uh, clip it'll basically be like this just two of them on each side it's gonna look really bad so make sure you always select that pretty much that's it you're gonna have to mess around with your quality um, in virtual dub and in Vegas sometimes like that proc amp part in virtual dub you're gonna have to mess around with that until you get it to the right settings um, but basically if you guys have any questions on anything uh, let me or Zito fan know and we'll try and help you out as much as we can uh, this is Chef from IC Studios peace